A woman who can only love death row inmates. A death row inmate with whom she has corresponded is falsely exonerated and released. However, through her trickery, the man is framed as a murderer in another case and is once again put on death row. The man, however, realizes that it was a trap, which is revealed in the correspondence that begins again with the woman. And that the real culprit in the second case is herself. After the man's execution, she tells her story to a reporter for a weekly magazine who discovers this fact, and it is not a lie, but it is completely different from what he had investigated. She said that the first charge was not really a false accusation and that the man was the real culprit in the second one as well. And that she had always loved the man and had never betrayed him. Which is the truth? The producer asks. The director is silent. The director is silent. The story returns to the first part, the woman who can only love a man on death row. Once again, the story is told. Each of them adds a detail. In the manner of an inverted mystery, the story is only told when all the evidence is presented, and then the inference is made. However, as long as we do not know whose story is being told at the beginning of the film, we can only compare it with her testimony, and this loop repeats endlessly without knowing which is the front and which is the back, like a Mobius loop. However, no matter how much is added, there is still no way to determine which side is the truth about this series of events. The producer and director are unaware of this. Eventually, the AI will have no choice but to begin assembling and depicting each story world. At first, there are some bugs and visual glitches, but the discomfort is resolved over time, and before you know it, the personalities born in each world seem to have a consciousness and seem to be living their own lives in their own worlds, and the number of these personalities continues to grow until they become indistinguishable from the real world. The number of personalities continues to increase until it becomes indistinguishable from the real world. Some are born and some die between these time frames, but no one realizes that time is looping, and the man remains on death row, forever unexecuted. It is up to the producer and director to decide when this loop, which begins with a woman who can only love a man on death row, will break and continue onward, but since we do not know whether they are real people or characters in the film, nor whether they are still alive or dead, this loop remains closed for now. And since the personalities born in this loop are also committing murders somewhere, and a new loop is born over the truth, this world multiplies further with endless malice.